Hey, what is up, guys? T Job here, and today I'll be showing you guys how I record Knights and Dragons. So that should be very exciting for you guys. And um, hopefully, you guys can start YouTube or record or whatever you guys want to do with this method I use. So, as you can see, I am recording on my computer, and you're gonna have to need either a Mac or a PC in order to do this. Um, you don't need a jailbroken device, nothing, just need a device. Um, I think. It has to be able to airplay and mirror. So, what that is, if you guys don't know what that is, if you swipe up from the bottom, this thing should come up for any iOS 7 device. And if you click this little thing, it'll be like a TV with a little triangle and it should say airplay for you guys. And um, that's basically what airplay is. So, I'll get back to that later. Um, so let's just focus on what you need to do first. So, first, what you're gonna want to do is here. Just let me un airplay this, so you guys can see my full screen. And so, what you guys want to do is you're gonna want to go download this app or application called Reflector. And what this allows you to do is it allows your computer to to make your iDevice project its screen on your computer and then you can record your computer screen and thus record your device so in order to download this this um, application usually costs money and I'm gonna show you guys how to get it for free so this is the original um, reflector page and it's twelve dollars ninety nine cents Canadian I think it's ten dollars American so it's not that expensive but if you guys don't want to pay at all then I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that and if my video doesn't explain how to like do it properly they have a tutorial right on here so you guys could check that out too what you're gonna wanna do is type in your search bar um, kick ass torrents, I believe, and it should be the first ones. And up here, you're gonna wanna type in reflector, reflector, and a whole bunch of crap should come up. Um, usually on Windows, they have a whole bunch of ones on Windows, but I'm on Mac, so. For me, I'll be probably using this one. So basically, how to check whether it's for Mac or for Windows. Right under here, it should say Applications, and then either Mac or Windows. Here, you can see it says Reflector plus Serial Code, which is what you want. Application for Windows. So this one, you guys can use that for Windows. And this one up here, which is what I'm going to be downloading, you guys can use that for Mac. So if you're on Mac, you just want to click on this. And here's the description and all that. Um, it should be safe for you to uh, download. But before that, you're gonna wanna like save this link. You're gonna wanna have to download a torrent, uh, like a torrent downloader. What I use for Mac is an application called uTorrent. It's very safe. No like hacks or whatever. Just uTorrent. I think it's free to download. I believe, and it's just a quick download. Just go to the website, click download, free download for Mac, download it, run it, and you should be good to go. So then, when you return to here, you're gonna wanna click download torrent right up here, and it will download a kick ass torrent, you torrent thing. And you can just drag that to your desktop or wherever you want. You can close your um, internet browser. And now what you're going to want to do is just double click this and you turn it should open. Um, I've already downloaded this before so this has come up. So just let me delete this and I'll show you guys what happens. So basically or this is going to pop up if you have uTorrent. You can tell the thing where you want it to save. I just save it to the, my desktop. You can name it to whenever you want. Let's just say reflector and just press OK. And if you go to your uTorrent, as you can see here, 
it'll just take a couple seconds and it'll start downloading. It shouldn't take too long. Um, it'll take like a couple seconds. It's already at 12%. It's only been like three seconds. So that will download quite fast. And you should get something like this. Don't open it until this has finished downloading. And as you can see, this has finished. If you saved it to somewhere you don't know, you can just click this little um, arrow and it'll show you where it is. So now, you're just going to want to open that up. This will load. You'll get this thing, which is just a disk. Uh, it's not harmful. It's just this thing, basically. And you're just going to want to drag Reflector to your applications. And it'll install. And then when you open Reflector, um, usually it'll pop up with a uh, thing saying you want trial version or do you want the full version. And if you have the full version, um, if you want the full version, then you're going to want to, it's going to ask you for this pen. You're just going to want to copy and paste it in and click OK. And it should work for you guys. And um, if it doesn't, if you guys have any trouble issues, just comment in the section below, PM me anything. Um, I'll try to get that sorted out for you guys. Um, one thing, um, it's going to say that there's an update. Do not download the update. Um, it'll screw up the free thing, and you're going to need to buy it for real. But, uh, yeah, so just don't update. Um, if it doesn't ask you for a pin or a code, that means that your computer has already bought it. So that's a good thing for you guys. <laughs> Maybe someone else in your family bought it. I don't know. But it should ask you for a pin. And if it doesn't, then you should have the full version already. So yeah. So when that is run, it's open and run. Um, you can just launch it and it won't come up with anything. You're going to want to go back to your iDevice. And um, let's just see this for a second. You're going to want to flick up and click AirPlay. And you should have iPad and then a different one called MacBook or like your computer name. You're going to want to click on it and something called mirroring should come up. So here I'm just going to do that for you guys one more time. Just let me move this. Um, yeah, so flick up. It should say AirPlay here. You're going to want to click that. It would normally be on iPad or iPhone or whatever. There should be another one. Apple TV. I have an Apple TV upstairs. That Just disregard that. You're going to want to click yours, and then um, that shouldn't pop up. That's just my computer. And you're going to want to flick mirroring on, so then it will pop up onto your computer. And then once that happens, you can just flick that down, and you can record Nice and Dragons, or you can record any game for that matter. And it should be zero lag. It shouldn't lag at all. It will transfer the volume, and everything should be amazing. So that is basically how I record Knights and Dragons. Um, that's just the airplane part. In order for you to record, you're going to need a different program. If you're on Mac, you can use something called QuickTime Player. Once that's running, you can do new screen recording, and it'll start recording your screen when you press that, and everything should be good. Um, if you're on Windows, I'm sorry. Um, I don't really know how to do anything for that, but I'm sure there's a bunch of screen recorders. So once you've recorded your screen, um, you should have your thing recorded. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys start recording, and I hope you guys this. I hope this helped for you guys. So yeah, see ya.